Does facial numbness and tingling come from a pinched nerve in the neck? This is an interesting question, and it's one that I get asked a surprising number of times during the course of a given day. The basic scenario is something like this. Someone has neck pain, they have numbness and tingling in their arm. Uh, the scenario clearly looks like a pinched nerve or a cervical radiculopathy. Now, this person also happens to have numbness and or tingling in their face. So after talking with the patient and examining them, I explained that their neck pain and their arm symptoms are very likely coming from inflammation around a nerve root in their neck. The patient nods, and then they ask, is that what is also causing my facial numbness and tingling as well? Hello, my name is Dr. Grant Cooper. I am the co-founder and co-director of Princeton Spine and Joint Center. I've written a few books about the cervical spine and about neck pain more generally. In none of those books will you find a link between a pinched nerve in the neck and facial numbness and tingling. It's not the way that, that the anatomy works, and it, it frankly doesn't make a lot of sense as to how someone with a pinched nerve in their neck would have that be causing facial numbness and tingling. But at the same time, I've had scores of patients who have had this scenario play out, and when we get the neck pain and the arm symptoms all better, well, their facial numbness and tingling goes away as well. So I don't think there's a good way to explain this empiric fact other than that though in those instances, the facial symptoms must have been coming in the end from the pinched nerve in the neck after all. So now when I see someone with a pinched nerve in their neck who also has facial numbness and tingling, what I invariably tell them is that on the one hand, there's really no good scientific reason to think that the facial symptoms are directly connected to the next symptoms. And at the same time, a lot of times, it seems that they are, after all, connected together. So the best way to find out, in my opinion, in these scenarios is to get the pinched nerve all better and see if the facial symptoms go away or not. Most of the time, in my experience, they do go away. Now, when that happens, I think it's safe to chalk up the symptoms in the face to the neck. When the facial symptoms don't change after the pinched nerve in the neck is resolved, then it seems clear that those two things were not connected in, that, in those instances and that a separate cause for the facial numbness and tingling needs to be sought. So it's a nuanced issue because it's easy to simply say that facial numbness and tingling don't come from the neck because in reality, from what we understand of the neck, it shouldn't. But that betrays the fact that sometimes it clearly does. And it's worth hovering over that paradox for a moment to say that this is one of the many instances where medicine is different from a field like uh, mechanical or civil engineering. When we build a bridge, it's basically material sciences and physics, right? We build the bridge from the ground up. So in theory, we should understand everything about that bridge and how it will react to different stresses, et cetera. Well, to state the obvious, humans aren't bridges. We didn't build humans. And while we understand a lot about how our bodies work and how our bodies break down and how our bodies get put back together, there's still a lot that we don't know. And we just need to keep that in mind and be respectful of that fact, even as we continue to strive all the time for a more perfect understanding. Maybe someday, you know, with artificial intelligence, we'll be able to solve all these mysteries of the human body. But until then, we just need to appreciate that we, 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 we know what we know. And there are some things that we don't know. So we need to keep a little humility about us. And in this instance, I think facial numbness and tingling and pinched nerves in the neck um, are one of those instances that, that there's some uh, ambiguity. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, as always, if you have questions, comments, um, suggestions for future subjects for the, the videos, please leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you so much again for watching. Please remember to hit the like button. Remember to hit the, the subscribe uh, button to our channel. Thank you very, very much.